my name is Carolyn Molnar, and I have an extensive library of videos based on my followers' questions. Send your questions on spirituality via my website, carolynmolnar.com, and if it helps many, it may appear on my YouTube channel. The answers are based on my 40 plus years of experience as a psychic medium. Some of these topics you may not agree with, so please move on to the next. These clips are for information only. So I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. A viewer writes, does one need to wait a certain period of time after someone passes before you can expect them to come through? That's a loaded question. <laughs> Uh, there's so many instances where it doesn't matter and others that it does. So let's try to tease all this out. If an individual, a soul, <clears throat> has gone through a long period of illness, it's unlikely that they will appear early on after their passing. I usually ask people to wait three to six months so that it can be a clearer experience for me to be able to pass on the information to the client. Um, I had somebody who was diabetic uh, in, and passed into the spirit world, diabetics a, a, with juvenile diabetes and she passed at age 32 because she'd just rather live her life than be um, thinking about the, her illness. And so when she passed, she was quite sick and low energy and the, all this energy has to be um, taken care of. I remember Sadie saying it's like there's a hospital over there where you go to recoup and once your energy is up to snuff then it's easier for mediums to be able to connect with um, spirit. And then I've had other spirit who have popped in right after the funeral. They are healthy and uh, they had a, most likely had a very sudden death and uh, we're fine up until that moment. So it really depends on the circumstances of the spirit world, not, uh, not the medium, because the medium is open to hear from the spirit world. It's whether the spirit world is open to speak with them.